This is video number two, and this series con is concerned about the prophecies about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Old and the New Testament. In which, in the first video, we talked about the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was mentioned in the Old Testament. In this video, we are going to talk about another prophecy. We think that it is referring to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allow me. To mention a brief introduction about the situation of the Arabic nation by the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in which the Arabic nation was an illiterate nation. It was an it was not an ignorant nation. It was illiterate, in which writing was not of that importance back then, for they had their oral traditions. By poetry, literature, storytelling, narration. So they didn't care about writing that much. And Allah talks about that in the Quran, in which He, in which Allah Almighty, tells that the nation of Arabs back then were illiterate. He mentioned, He referred to them as Al Ummiyin, the illiterate, and that was mentioned in chapter Al Jum'ah, Friday, chapter 62, verse 2, in which He said. It is he who sent amongst the unlettered a messenger from among themselves to rehearse to them his signs, to sanctify them, and to instruct them in scripture and wisdom, although they had been before in manifest error. Even historians mentioned or talked about the illiteracy of the Arabic nation by the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. We don't have much time to waste. Let us go and do the cooking and show you how the Muslims lie when they speak about their religion. Don't ever trust a Muslim explaining to you his book. And by the way, they lie in purpose, not by ignorance. He mentioned chapter 62, verse number 2, not me. From this verse alone, I can show you that everything he was saying is a lie. The whole idea of this video, this Muslim he made, to prove to us that the Bible is speaking about an literate prophet. This is what he want to say, show to us. But we will talk about that later, so we can laugh together more. But for now, let us show you how they, they play with the words to make it fit with their own agenda. The Quran is not speaking about an literate as people who do not know how to write and how to read. And we can show you that very easy. When the Muslim is trying to make it as it is about an somebody he cannot write and he cannot read how look, look at this it says it is he who has sent amongst an illiterate messenger from among themselves okay what does that mean this is mean that everybody here is an illiterate and this is false because how you say to me that the whole nation is an illiterate when they have a language like as you see you see they have letters they have words they have so how they are illiterate and they're saying they have language with letters you cannot call everybody illiterate when everybody cannot be included so there is a mistake in there in the understanding now this is the word we are talking about in in the uh, uh, in our study which is al ummiyin you see al ummiyin this is the word we are talking about you will see in here it says it is he who has sent amongst the unlearned, illiterate, sorry, uh, a messenger. So, all of them, they are illiterate, and this is impossible. Secondly, in here, we will ask a very easy question. Why the Quran keeps saying, it is he, when Allah himself is talking? Why Allah is saying, it's he, if it's you talking? Like, what's wrong with Allah? Don't you know, it's, you know, you should say, it's me? But no problem. This is another, another proof that the one who made the Quran is saying, talking about his God, it is not Allah talking. But this is not the topic for now. So in here, when the verse is speaking about that this is a messenger among those who they are illiterate, simply he's talking about a nation who do not know about God, not a nation who do not know how to write, how to read. And the proof of that, already they have a language, as you see in front of your eyes. From where they got the, 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 the letters, who made it for them, if they, and why they made it even if they don't want to write and read. It doesn't make sense. But let us show you more 
clear evidence that this is a very false claim. And here, this is chapter 3, verse number 20, you will see it says, So if they dispute with thee, say, I have submitted my whole self to Allah, and so have those who follow me, and say, to the people of the book, oops, and those who are unlearned, attention, it is the same word, al ummiyin translated as unlearned this time, not as illiterate. Now, why? Let us see why. Simply, <laughs> the whole Quran doesn't make sense if it's about illiterate. Because this is the same people, the same nation, the same city where Muhammad is talking to. It's the city of Mecca. Some people, they are called the people of the book, as you see in front of your eyes. So why he is calling the same people, the same nation, they are Arab. Some of them he is calling them the people of the book. And some of them he is calling them and learned what having the Bible have to do with being illiterate or not and remember as we said it is the same word we are still discussing it is not something new the same word simply because the word in here al ummiyin mean the one who knows about God and the one who do not know about God so those who knew about about God they they call them the people of the book because they have a book already about God and those who do not know about God they translate the word Al-Ummiyin which translated in the other verse as illiterate as unlearned this is mean that this is not about being learned as writing or reading or illiterate it's about having a book of God or not so those who don't have the book of God, they are unlearned, which means ignorant. And those who have the book of God, they are learned. Learned about what? About God. Not learned how to read and how to write. Because imagine, it's going to be very stupid and very funny, that all the Christian and the Jew, they are very smart. All of them, they can read and write. And those who live next door to them, just because they are no Christian, no Jew, they are illiterate. Very funny, you know? Like everybody in the city is a Christian or a Jew, he knew how to write, how to read. Everybody who is not Christian or a Jew, he is ignorant. He do not know how to read, how to, how to write. And very weird. Let us continue. In chapter 7, verse 157, you will see, it says, Those who follow the messenger, the illiterate prophet, whom they find mentioned in their own scriptures. Okay, you know what? This nation, the Arab, they are illiterate but they have scriptures what they have a scripture for to watch it they have a books it means they can read and can write they can write let us continue a different verse we heard him in the video saying the following it was an it was not an ignorant nation it was illiterate in which writing was not of Okay, so we heard him saying it was not an ignorant nation, it was an illiterate nation. This is the whole idea, you see. Now let us show you how the Muslims, they lie. This is chapter 3, verse number 75, and you will see, this is the word we are talking about in the front of our eyes. Al-Ummiyin again. Now what Al-Ummiyin they translated to us in this verse? Ignorant. So why they are lying to us saying that al ummiyin mean illiterate? Now ignorant mean what? Ignorant about what? It's about they are ignorant, they do not know God. Because remember, we are talking about the same people, the, the, the Christian at that time, they are Arab Christian. And here you will see again, amongst the people of the book, okay, how come those, they are not called ignorant? By having a Bible, it means they are not ignorant. It's not necessarily if I have a book, like if my church have a book, it means I know how to read and how to write. But simply, they are not called the ignorant or illiterate because they have a book they knew about God. And Muhammad, he stole that from the Christian and the Jewish. 
because the Bible says clearly that those who do not know God they are ignorant and this is what the whole story is about and the Muslims trying to play the game to fool you make you believe that the word word illiterate mean cannot read cannot write and as you see the Arab they have a language and they are called the people of the book in the same time they are called illiterate because they don't know God those who do not know God they are illiterate not the Christian not the Jew Christ is Lord and Muslims are a bunch of liars as always I mean